Hello, Gary Simon of designcourse.com. Today is February 4th with our 34th video of the year, and we're going to finish up the typographic poster that we started yesterday in Adobe Illustrator CC. So as always, check out designcourse.com if you haven't yet, and subscribe here on YouTube. Here's a preview once again of what we're going to design. All right, so now what we want to do is take our uh, two pieces of text there, they are currently type layers, so hit Control Shift and the letter O, and that will be a Control H that will convert them to outlines. That's good. I uh, let's go ahead and zoom up. Now I'm just going to kind of work with this text to uh, make it look a little bit cooler, I guess you could say, for lack of a better term. Uh, so what we want to do is. We'll come in and we'll zoom up a little bit more actually. I'm going to create like kind of like a cut, like so the D is cutting into the C a little bit. So we'll take the uh, pen tool and we'll cook work cl real close to there. And we just kind of have to imagine, you know, where this is at. We could have changed the color so we could see it, but that's fine. And just kind of left click and drag just a little bit and hold Alt and left click and then come in right around there. And then we'll end it right there. Uh, now, if you make this black, of course, you can see kind of the effect. And real quickly, we will take both of these right here. And we want to get out our, uh, where are we at here, Pathfinder. And we will merge those. And then we will take this and this and subtract that shape. All right, so now it's transparent. All right, so that looks pretty cool. Okay, so let's continue on <clears throat> with these, uh, kind of these cuts, I guess you could call them. Uh, I had to pause the video because my toddlers and wife came home, they're really loud. <laughs> you probably hear them throughout the course of this video, unfortunately. All right, so I uh, will take the pen tool again. Um, next one we'll just kind of do, you know, we're just kind of following these lines and these shapes and just, you know, it kind of creates a cool effect basically so I'll click right there and kind of end it right around here and that happens so I'm gonna control Z to undo get rid of that Pathfinder and we'll come out right around there oops hold alt left click and then kind of end it right at this corner alright and then connect it back up I uh, hold shift, select both of these objects, we get our Pathfinder back out, and do that. All right, so zoom out here, and we will, uh, let's see here, we're going to add, uh, let's see, two more. All right, so let's zoom back up. Man, they're loud down there. I hope you can hear that. It's very irritating. But that's life working at home <laughs> with your kids all right so we'll come down here create one that kind of just goes right around here so let me click right on that edge and left click and pull or drag alt left click and it doesn't matter the fill right now it's just we're only concerned about the shape we'll take this hold shift select both of them and do that and then just one more time we'll come down around here all right so right around there alt left click and join it up take the move tool select it hold shift and minus front all right so let me zoom out just to see kind of what this thing looks like. Uh, if you hold your space bar, by the way, and then left click, you can drag this around. All right, so that's looking pretty good so far. Um, let me go ahead and take both of these and let's change the color. There's a default color in the swatches here. It's just uh, this blue right here. 
leave it at that. I want to take this as well. Let's go ahead and group these. So hold shift, select both, hit control G to group them. And I'm going to make it kind of dark. We'll try that. I think that's yeah, probably pretty decent right around there. And let's go ahead and start working with our uh, the strokes that we're going to create. So I'm just going to move things up here. Now this compound path, I'm going to copy that, control C and then control F, and we're going to hide the bottom one just to kind of create a copy that, you know, that we can use in the future. All right, so now what I want to do, I'm going to hit control H to get rid of the outlines. Now what we want to do is go ahead and give it a stroke. Now we want to view our uh, appearance right here. So with the compound path selected, we can see there's a stroke. There's no stroke right now. So if we just give this a stroke, and let's see here, it's black, I think. So we could change that to white. And we'll go around five. Now what we can do with this stroke area selected, we can go to effect, we can go to distort and transform, and then transform. And this comes up. So if we select on preview, and we focus here on move, if we slide this a little bit, we'll see it only affects the stroke, not the base, you know, DC there. So we take both of these and kind of just move them down just a little bit. I'd say that looks pretty good right around there and then hit OK. We now kind of have this cool sort of offset uh, stroke thing going. I, I don't want to leave it like that. So what I want to do is go ahead and go to Object, Path, Outline Stroke. All right, so now if we drop this down, I created a group. We have the DC right here, and then we have the stroke text, or not text, but the outline right there. And what we want to do on group, with that selected, we can right click, ungroup. All right, so basically that just takes them out of that group folder, and now they're both right here. So what we want to do is, with both of them selected, and they are, we can go to Object, Clipping Mask, Make. All right, so that obviously doesn't <laughs> look all that good in and of itself. Uh, what I want to do is, yeah, don't do that. That's not what I want to do. Uh, I want to make this right here, this blue, we'll change that to right now the let me go to gradient here. There. Switch that. If you go over there and our layers got hidden, make that white. All right, so now we change this to white. And now if we bring this back up, we can kind of see that the stroke doesn't kind of go outside of the letters. Okay. So now we can kind of create some more of these strokes just to kind of give, you know, an interesting appearance to this text. So uh, what I want to do is we'll close this up and I'm just going to duplicate that again. So control C, control F and I'll hide this bottom one. We'll come down here to appearance, click on stroke and this time we can give it maybe a lighter stroke, like around three instead of five. And then we will do the same thing. We'll go to effect, distort, transform, transform, preview. Uh, this time maybe we'll go the opposite direction. And you can just kind of eyeball this. Hit okay. I do want to make it like a thinner stroke, so we'll go to two. All right, and let's see how this looks so far. All right, now this one, I don't think we're going to make it a clipping mask. I think what we'll do is take this color real quickly, uh, maybe drop it down to like a mid gray, and we will move this to the bottom. Actually, I want to separate those though, so let's go ahead and go to Object, Path. We will go to Outline Stroke. We'll delete this portion, the actual text, 
and I uh, get that back up. Take this. It's not a group because it's only itself, so just ungroup. And we'll put it beneath there. All right, so let me zoom up just a little bit so you can see this a little better. All right. I think I might do maybe one more type of strokish thing. <laughs> All right, so uh, we will control C, control F that base that initially we created um, the compound path. Hide this one. We're going to do this one more time. So we'll take our stroke here. Uh, let's go three. Then we will go ahead and change this to, uh, I think, like a lighter, well, maybe a darker blue right around here. And with this selected, we'll go to Effect, tr Distort, Transform, and Preview. And play with this a little bit. I'm not sure if I want to go out that far. Or maybe. All right, we'll hit OK. We'll do that same thing once again. We'll go to Object, Path, Outline, Stroke. And then we will right click, ungroup that. Get rid of this. And we still have this. All right, now let me zoom out here. Kind of see what this thing looks like. All right, so you know you can also play around with uh, blend modes for the layers, kind of like in Photoshop and After Effects. Uh, you can do an overlay, and that kind of changes the appearance. Let me zoom up here real quick, and I uh, color dodge. You know, it's kind of just a matter of playing around just to see if you like any of these results. What am I doing? Am I on the right layer? I don't think I am. There. I think that's the new one recreated. So yeah, if we go to overlay, kind of creates this transparent thing that you can only see on the background. Uh, color dodge, that looks too messy. Screen, lighten, color burn. So you can experiment, kind of use what you know, you think kind of looks good. And people are being loud downstairs. One second here. Difference looks terrible. Exclusion. Hue. You know. Whatever you want. I think I'm just going to go to normal. You can even just take the opacity down a little bit. Or a lot. Just to give yourself, you know. And you could use your arrow keys as well to kind of adjust these. All right. All right, so... Let's go ahead and zoom out so we can kind of see this full effect that we have going here. And I think that is it. Uh, if you need to adjust things around here, first of all, we'll lock our layers so we can only select this. And you could hold uh, Control or no Shift and Alt to scale this thing as you need. You kind of position it around. And there we go. I uh, let me go ahead and all right. So basically, I uh, if you need to, usually if you're you're going to print this for a you know for actual print you know and you're using a print company, usually they would provide you with a uh, a template file depending on whichever size you wanted to use, and that would contain. Uh, the bleeds and edges that you would need to kind of make sure you, I guess you could say, obey. <laughs> uh, otherwise, when you go to send it to them, you know, the print might not come out well. But we didn't use that. Uh, but pretty much, you know, the ideas that we use to design this, you know, they're, they're definitely applicable to uh, the, the process of print design for posters. All right. So... Uh, check out designcourse.com if you haven't yet, and if you uh, haven't subscribed here to on YouTube, do so. And I will see you tomorrow with an all-new tutorial. All right, goodbye.